Okay, for our last example, your financial goal is to save uh, 1 million saved in 40 years by making regular end of the month payments in an annuity that pays 7.25% compounded monthly. How much should you deposit each month? This is also known as your periodic deposit or that P. So we have A, P, R, N, and T. We, are, we have a goal of reaching a million. So that's gonna be my future value in 40 years, so that's T, by making regular end of the month payments that compounded monthly, so that's 12, and my rate is 0 0.0725. How much should I deposit each month? That is a P. If this, if we didn't know our A, we would use the formula that says A equals, but because I don't know my P, I'm looking for the formula that says P equals. So I'm going to have P equals on the numerator, 1 million, parentheses, 0.0725 divided by 12 over bracket, parentheses, 1 plus 0.0725 divided by 12 raised to the 12 times 40 minus 1. Remember when you're typing this in the calculator, you need extra parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. The denominator already has brackets around it, so just the numerator this time. And then the exponent up here needs an extra set of parentheses, so I went ahead and put that. So we're going to type this in the calculator, parentheses uh, 1 million. Make sure you have six zeros there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then open another parentheses, 0 0.0725 divided by 12. Close your parentheses, oops. I thought I typed 12, but I typed two. That's gonna be a big mistake. So I'm gonna go back and type 12 parentheses. And now I'm on track again. Close that parentheses. That gets me the entire numerator. Notice there's two back-to-back -back parentheses. Divided by, open two parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.0725, divided by 12, close that parentheses. We're raising it, so use the little caret button, parentheses 12 times 40, close that parentheses, then minus 1, close that parentheses, hit enter. So the periodic payment is going to be $355.05. All right, so if you do that every month, then in 40 years, you'll have a million dollars. So let's see, how much of the financial goal comes from deposits and how much comes from interest? Well, let's figure that out. So your deposits are going to be the 355.05 times the number of times you do that a year, that's 12, times the number of years you do that. So I'm gonna take, because I had to truncate this, don't use the answer that's already there, you have to use the 355 and five cents times 12 times 40, and that turns out to be $170,000 424. Okay, so that's how much comes from deposits. But now I'm going to find the interest. The interest is A minus the deposits, um, and the deposits are P times N times T, which we've actually already figured out. So I'm going to take 1 million minus my hundred and seventy thousand four hundred twenty four. So this is going to get me eight hundred and twenty nine thousand five hundred and seventy six. So that is a huge difference between the what you deposited versus what you are going to get in interest. You're only depositing 170000 
and you're getting 829000 back in interest because you were letting it sit in the bank for 40 years and you continue to pay that 355 per month. And this is going to conclude our lesson on annuities and saving for the future.